Ray Gun people and Horsey people. So this is what the disaster I've been going through when your account get hacked. For those that don't know, I was hacked on my channel. Both my channels were taken down. I lost my email. When you lose your Google email, uh, I'm not a fan of Gmail. Gmail basically says, Google says, hey, it's a uh, free email. So we don't offer support. If you get hacked, you're screwed. Uh, unfortunately, your Gmail account is connected to your YouTube accounts. It's also connected to your Google Docs. It's also connected to PlayStation. A lot of other Google apps, it's all connected to your free email that Google says, hey, it's free. We don't give you any service. Even though they require you to connect it to get all those other services. So when you lose your Gmail, you're screwed. I mean, it, it literally, I, I they... They started posting videos on my uh, YouTube channel. And they took it down. I've got I've got document after document on support and how how to help me and how it doesn't help me and thanks and we appreciate trying to find a real person is really hard. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the one link that this one worthless. It goes through all these. It sends you on a circular logic and you can't fix it. Totally worthless. So this email, if you want to copy it is the only email that will get you some sort of help. And I'm not sure if you can email it without them emailing you first, because they put this little thing up here and give you a number, but this is the email basically for YouTube support. Now, YouTube is part of Google, and Google gives no support when your email gets hacked. Everything I read through all these emails going through these are just some. I've deleted a whole bunch. Going through all these different emails trying to get somebody to help, it was useless. So there's two things that finally got things going. Well, there's actually three. One was this email right here that I already showed you. You want to write that down, yt-partner-support at google.com. So YT is for YouTube, but it's, their address is at google.com because they're owned by Google. The other really critical form that you need to fill out is this one. And finding this one was almost damn near impossible. A matter of fact, the only way I got this is through that YouTube support. They sent me a link to it. And because it took me so long to get to this link, uh, just copied the link up here. So it says support google.com slash YouTube slash contact slash report underscore YouTube underscore hijacking. And that will get you to this form. When I fill out this form, that's when I started getting responses. Now you have to do this for each channel. So I had to do this for each channel. And if you want to prepare for hacking now, before you fill out this form, there's things on here that you cannot find once they remove your channel. Because once my channel was hacked, they removed them because they started posting illegal shit on both my channels. And then so they gave me strikes on both my channels and removed them both. And since they hacked my email, I couldn't get into my email, which couldn't get me into my account. So I couldn't contact YouTube in regards to my account or my email because it was out. And every time you try to go to another email, it says, that's not your email. Well, no shit, they hacked it. It is the most crazy thing in the world. But they did end up fixing it after five days of hell. So when they put your name, you have to put your, your channel ID is huge. This is the number when you click on your channel, it'll go to YouTube slash channel, etc. Well, this is great. The only problem is when they delete your channel, this isn't the link anymore. When you go to the channel, it says this channel's been removed. You cannot get these letters and numbers. So you probably want to record your channel ID because you're going to need it for here. Your handle is like, at, 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 is one for my horse channel is think like a horse at, so you can get to my channel by going to youtube.com slash channel. And instead of putting UC blah, 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 you can put at hey gun people for my gun channel or at think like a horse for my horse channel. So you have to know your handle on your at. You might want to record that. Of course, they ask, are you currently signed in your primary? No, because they hacked my email and that's how they took over my freaking YouTube. Do you have a recovery email? So, and, and by the way, when they hacked me, they changed my recovery email and they changed my phone number. So I didn't have either of these things. So then they want you to create a new Google account. So you have a Google email so you can get to this form so you can give them a Google email to contact you. Just, a, it's a complete worst process in the world. Totally inefficient. Totally takes too long. It's just outrageous. But anyway, the fact that I gave you this link to this form is going to help you immensely. Please share the ID of the video you published most recently. How the hell can I share an ID of a video when the hackers 
posted shit and got my channels taken down. When my channel's taken down, all my videos are taken down. So I can't get a vid vid video ID. So when they go video ID, let's say I just posted this video on my channel. What's the video ID? Well, you have to click on play the video. And when it comes up, this is my video ID. So how the hell can I get that when my channel's down? You can't. You're screwed. So the fact that they ask all these questions to where you can't answer is so freaking irritating. I did. Okay, so it's back up here. That's the other problem. When you're filling out this form, if you click on any other link and try to find something without starting a new tab, it erases your form. Just another little great thing that they throw in there to screw you over. Once you get your ID of your most recent video or title, and I didn't know my title, and since my videos are deleted, I couldn't find it. Luckily, my videos are backed up on BitChute, so I was able to go to BitChute and read the last title of my last vi video and get it. Are you part of the program partnership? I don't freaking know. I put yes. I don't know if I am or I'm not. I don't know what the hell it is. They ask all these questions. I have no freaking clue. I'm in the middle of losing all my shit. Where and how do they access channels? So this is where you had to get most specific. So here they ask whether I used a your what computer you use. This is an iPhone 15. I use an iPhone 13. However, when I was trying to log in through the recovery page, which is a complete waste of time, let me show you that page. So after you Google and try to find out how to recover your page, you get here and it goes, how do you do it? You put recovery email, then you go, my account was hijacked. They go next step, email recovery, how was it? Forget reading all these because I read them all. They all do nothing. Go to next step. So through all the helplines, this is the one that I always, they keep saying, recover your account. And you go here. It's all circular logic. It is just restore how to remove, learn. Hell, now I can't even find, I can't even find it again. That's crazy. Complete account recovery tips. I thought it was on here that it took me to it. Create a replacement getting locked out. Oh, post community guidelines. I posted that I needed help and they took down. You post a question and then they post it and then I got emails saying I violated community standards. I don't know how I violated community. I just said my email was hacked. Can someone help me? Blah, blah. And they took down my post, said it violated community standards. Again, circular logic. So here's the one that I kept in up. Account recovery page. All tips, all roads leads to this right here. The problem is when you get to this page, when you put your email in, it's been hacked. And then it says it doesn't take your password. Then it says try alternative measure. It says try a phone number. Well, when they hack me, they changed my phone number. They changed the email. So none of the things they asked me worked. Therefore, it, it just kept coming back. We can't help you. Sorry, we can't help you. That's how it ends. Don't waste your time here if they've already changed. If you have your phone number, if you have your alternate email, and they haven't taken over your email and you have access, this will work. But it didn't for me because they changed all that. This is the other thing that they did get back to me eventually. It took a while. Team YouTube. If you go to X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it, you come down here and on their last post and you make a post or you click comments and you make a post. Please help, my account's been hacked, I can't get into my email, blah, 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 blah. Eventually they will get back to you. It's at Team YouTube. It's not YouTube Team, which is a fake account. It's not YouTube Support. It's at Team YouTube. There's a bunch of fake accounts, there's a bunch of people trying to make money and sending you on a circular logic just to get views on their video. It, it, the amount of time is outrageous. So let me get back to this form because there's some things in here that you need to find that's kind of a little pain in the butt. So how was your access thing? Basically, I said, hey, I opened up a link on YouTube. It downloaded something on my computer. I lost my email. I gave them the email address. I gave them the contact for my new email. I said, they changed my phone. I have an iPhone so-and-so, and they're now saying it's iPhone this. So they've changed my iPhone. Basically, I think what they do is they go back and see on the date. The date that it happened or you think happened is really important. Do you have access or sign an account from different locations in the past nine months? 
I put no. When they look at your account, they're going to see mine was in Vietnam and Germany is where the hacking was coming from. They looked and they go, this isn't from Texas and he hasn't been there. So obviously he was hacked. Now they're going to ask your IP address. Your IP address, if you if you don't know nothing about computers, you got to figure it out. So find your IP address. Here's the way I do it. And you, you can do it some other way. I click on here. I go to my settings or I type. When I type IP address, command prompt comes up. So when you want to get a command prompt, you click that and your computer will open this up. And then you have to type IP config, I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G. It's your IP configuration. And when you hit enter, it will bring this information up. And it says IP address, this right here. And thanks, you can't copy and paste it. You have to type this in this form. So what I did is I typed this in a document and that for I could copy and paste it later. They're going to want your IP address. Type it in there. Tell us a bit about the hacking incident. You're only allowed a thousand words here. So I just kind of repeated here. Hey, they hacked my email. They took over my email account. My YouTube channel started live streaming something about Bitcoin. Next thing I know, I violated community standards. Both my channels were deleted. Do you have access to share your password with anybody? No, I didn't share it. I think they need to ask that to make sure that in case you gave it to somebody, then you're responsible. They're not going to work on it. When do you think you're handcuffed? This is the date you want to kind of guess on when all the shit started going to shit. Because then they can look the day before and the day after that and see when the changes start occurring. Did you use a VPN? No. Did you get emails and click on a sponsor? I clicked yes here because that's when I clicked on the link on the YouTube video that was sent to me. That's when they downloaded their shit. Did you recently download software provided by the brand? I put no. They said choose a file of screenshots or supplemental information. What I did is I made a copy. I posted this on Twitter when I got hacked to let everybody know that. So this guy looks like he's some executive. He's in a room. It says new studio rules and check. I got this email from an account that said from YouTube. The address was actually YouTube, YouTube support, whatever. I thought it was legit. I clicked on it and that's when it downloaded the shit. And this says about your YouTube partner program. Remember that question? that they ask on a form, are you a member of? I don't know if I'm a member or not, but they use language that YouTube uses. And then it looks like it's from YouTube and a video was posted on YouTube. So when you click it, you think it's legit, but it wasn't. I just made an image of this that I put or I posted on Twitter and then I attached that file. And if you think this video was long, this all happened in four days of me sitting on a computer eight, 10 hours a day. So after you do that, you have to agree, you authorize. Yes, yes, I authorize and submit. And then if you have a second channel, you have to do it again. So before I submitted this, I copied down everything on a document, my channel ID, my handle, uh, my IP address, all this in here. I copied and pasted it. I copied my IP address so I could do my second one. Then I copied this incident. And so I had to make a separate doc because once you hit send, it's done. But this is the form that got things going. So these are just some of the emails that I was getting trying to filter out which one was legit and what wasn't on one account. I have another Google account that I was getting all these different support and different YouTube partner this one and this case and that case and this case and I mean I was calling and emailing everybody hoping somebody would listen and then on this account these are all the emails from Google that I got on my other account. These are not the same accounts. This is a different account. So to make a long story short, this is a huge problem. Gmail and Google was kind of like, they finally did fix it, but five days thinking you've lost 14 years of work, my uploading vehicles, videos. I mean, I was more concerned about my horse, Mr. T, that passed. I had a lot of videos of me riding him and working with him and doing videos to help other people and that those videos were lost. I was just sick. Anyway, uh, YouTube finally got it fixed. It took a while. Good luck. I'll put links to all this in the description. Uh, I hope it doesn't happen to you.